So my final race of the week will be the Elite Racing National Hunt Flat Race. Over two miles, of course. And Baltic Sunrise for Graham Clutterbuck at the top. Good Street for David Hooley. Junior Days for Obi-Wan. Quozark for Paul Rhodes. Has also got South Vietnam and Imperial Title for Leon Van Rensburg. So six in the National Hunt Flat Race. And called in and away. The rain coming down now. And Quozark is literally the biggest field we've had for a bit. And it's Imperial title in second. Then South Vietnam third. And then Good Street, Baltic Sunrise and Junior Days. This will wind up the week for me. And Leon will take you through the rest of the card. Which I think is a Hunter Chase card from Cottingham. Well, I think we've got another few under subscribe races. Just two or three runners. It's Quozark in the lead. And Baltic Sunrise in second. Junior Days third, South Vietnam fourth. And then Good Street at the back. And this is a few more people listening this time. Maybe I'll suggest it again that maybe special dispensation for this season because we've got so few trainers is that everybody can add an extra five horses in or something in the transfer window so we can bolt some of these fields out a little bit. And it's Quozark who is in the lead from Baltic Sunrise in second. Then South Vietnam is third, Imperial Title fourth. And then Junior Days fifth. With Good Street, the back marker. Close arcs opened up by a good four or five lengths now. To Baltic Sunrise in second. And Imperial Title is third. South Vietnam and Junior Days, the two Paul Rhodes horses running in the OB1 silks with Good Street. Very similar to them anyway. Slight difference in the cap, I think. But it's Close Arc who leads. Baltic Sunrise in second, and then Imperial Title, and South Vietnam, and then Junior Days, and then closest to us, Good Street in the purple jacket. Quozark is in front. Well, Imperial Title second, and Baltic Sunrise and South Vietnam, and then Good Street, and finally Junior Days at the back as they race down towards the final six furlongs. Quozark, two legs that are good. Imperial title looks to be going well in the second. If I'm thinking about it, I think Quozark is in the lead. I think that's one of Paul Rhodes' horses. Maybe the other one is Obi-Wan's Junior Days, the one that's out the back. But it's Quozark in the lead from Imperial title in second. A gap of six lengths then to South Vietnam and Baltic Sunrise who are trying to run on, but they're inside the final four furlongs. Quozark is clear, Imperial title is trying to get a little bit closer, South Vietnam is running on from the back, Baltic Sunrise is next, then Good Street, Junior Days is after that one, they're well strung out, and Quozark with two and a half furlongs to go, looking like it's only dangerous Imperial title at the moment, although South Vietnam is making ground, they're coming down towards the final furlong and a half, and both these leaders being pushed along, Quozark in front still, but Imperial title getting closer with every stride then as they pass the furlong pole you can see him edging closer and closer and closer and now he's upsides and they're almost level it's head bobbing time as they race now into the final quarter furlong and it's going to be Imperial title who's going to take this a shade cosily from Quozark in second then South Vietnam and Wood Street Baltic Sunrise and finally Junior Days and that was a clever piece of riding there by the jockey on Imperial title. I think he knew he could take Quozart out whatever he wanted to. And did so. So Leon gets a winner before he takes over on the commentator's stall. It's Imperial title for Leon Van Rensburg, the winner. Quozart, second for Paul Rhodes, who was also third with South Vietnam. Good Street for David Hooley was fourth. And Baltic Sunrise for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth. And I'll now hand you over to Leon at Cottingham.